please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Good morning, Kennedy. Chloe Galindo here. And I'm Casey. Now today's a little different, and here's why. 10, 20 years from now, you're going to be looking back and you're going to be saying, this is where I was sitting when history was being made because the strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Western Hemisphere is headed toward Mexico right now as we speak. The name, they've named it Hurricane Patricia. Its winds are 200 miles per hour and the wind gusts are up to 250. And if you don't know much about storms, I know I definitely don't. Um, to put this into perspective for you, Hurricane Katrina had winds of only 120 miles per hour when it hit land. Hurricane Patricia is nearly double that strength of Katrina. Patricia is equivalent to a massive E5 tornado. And as you can see here, this is, you know, I mean, it is just incredibly, it is on its way and it's going to be huge. And here's, here's the thing, how does it affect us? Well, you know that rain that we've been seeing lately? It's actually happening right now as we speak, so if you hear it in the background, sorry. But uh, this is from Hurricane Patricia. It's helping fuel all the storms that we've been having. Uh, we're going to have them today, tomorrow, and maybe beyond that, we're not sure. But there are definitely flash flood watches all over North Texas, and the rainfall, it'll total from around four to six inches, and in some isolated areas, seven inches. So right now, kind of in Mexico, people are taking shelter and just waiting for the storm to hit. So if you have any family or friends or loved ones in Mexico, I know my, grand, uh, my whole dad's side of the family lives in the state of Jalisco in Mexico, um, in the city of Guadalajara, which is pretty close to where it's being hit. Um, just make sure you know you let, let them know that you love them and you're here praying for them or whatever. Just make sure you keep those um, those people being affected by this event in the back of your head all day. All right. So in other news. We have uh, the student council sponsoring the anti-drug and alcohol door decorating contest. This is for your fourth period. Uh, if you have any questions, ask them. They'll have the information because it should be in your mailbox, teachers. And it's decorating inside and out. The prize is a mystery, says Mr. So, Alamon. It's a so, big deal. yeah, it it will be. Uh, he says, be creative, have fun, and this is in honor of Red Ribbon Week. All right, students. Don't forget that this Saturday, which is tomorrow. Um, the Youth Advisory Council will be hosting a trunk or treat, a food truck night, and a movie night event in the Kennedale Town Park. They will be showing the movie Halloween Town High. The trunk or treat starts at 5 p.m. and the movie begins at 7 p.m. So be sure to put on your best costumes and come on down and join us. Okay, so my mistake, um, also a part of the door decorating, the, they will be judging the doors next Wednesday, October 28th. So you have until then to get it done. Uh, student Council is also going to be selling monogram stickers to put on laptops. So you can buy them for $5 at any lunch on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until November 4th. So if you notice there wasn't WC in yesterday, and I want to apologize, it seems like as soon as there's something important to show, you know, <laughs> it just cuts out on us. Um, and there definitely was a lot of important news. One thing was icing, but the girls, boys and girls of choir actually came down and recorded an announcement. So I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to let them say it for me. So here's a quick video about icing. Hey Wildcats, your KHS choir program would like to invite you to come audition for our annual icing competition in the choir room Monday, November 16th from 3.15 to 6 p.m. And come grab a registration form with Mr. Skank. All finalists will be required to, to attend a dress rehearsal in the PAC Center November 18th. That's a Wednesday. And then our performance night is going to be Thursday, November 19th at 7. And tickets are only $5.00 and we would really like for you guys to come on out so come audition for icing come on out come audition for icing all right so looking forward to the icing uh thank you for that for the little video we put together that's a lot of work 
uh, we have a Jocelyn's representatives announcement, and they will be take, they will be taking the senior orders of the class of 2016 on Thursday, October 29th, and all lunch periods in the cafeteria. Don't forget your $80 payment. And prior to order day, make sure you review the information packet, and they will also be available on the main school office. All right, all those participating in Mr. KHS, make sure over the weekend that you do not forget that the practice day is October 27th in the auditorium at 6:30. If you signed up, you must be there and mandatory attendance is mandatory there you go yeah, there you go all right so volleyball they are having a by district game tuesday november 3rd at 6 p.m they're, it's going to be at azel high and they're going to be versing either castleberry or bridgeport now they're going to be selling playoff t-shirts that'll be uh they're selling playoff t-shirts tonight at the game that they're having here at 4 30 they're playing alvarado in the gym as always uh here you can pick up an order form the t-shirts are 12 dollars so the game won't get rained out, so you can come on, got, come on by, watch the game, get a form, and have a good time. And we got a little sneak peek of the shirts. They're actually really cool, so I definitely recommend on coming down tonight and supporting your, your Lady Cats as they take on Alvarado. It's going to be a great game. So that's all we have for you. So signing off on this Friday, um, I hope if you know someone or if you're thinking about someone in that area in which the hurricane is hitting, I hope they stay safe this weekend. Um, everyone have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. So signing off from Casey Ramirez. And I'm Chloe Glenda. See you all next time. I get hit